In this chapter, we'll review equalization and sound sweetening. So let's start by opening Audacity, and a new window opens for another project. So let's start by grabbing some of the guitar loop. So let's open up one of the recent files with guitar loop. And we'll just copy a few seconds of it to play with. Hit copy up here. Now back in ours, click paste, and there we have some guitar loop to play with. Let's minimize this a little bit so we can fit it in the page. So let's highlight half of this so we can hear the difference. And with this portion highlighted, we'll go to Effect, and then go down to Equalization. The window for Equalization opens. And right now, we just have flat equalization. We also have the option of predefined. So you can go through these. And if you want to take a listen and look, you hit load predefined curve, and now you see the predefined equalization. So in this, for instance, it's taking out the low end, boosting up around 100 hertz, and then taking out the high end as well. Let's take a listen to that by clicking on Preview. And let's click OK so we can take a listen to it side by side. There you see the waveform has changed a little bit from this side. Let's go back to the start and take a listen. So there you can hear a slight difference, but let's go for something even more in Radical so we can really hear a difference. So I'll highlight half of it again, go back up to Effect, down to Equalization, and now we'll do our own predefined equalization. I'll click a couple points, take the low end way down, bring the midsection way up. As you see, I just click on a point on the equalization, and that brings it down. So if I want to flatten this out, I click that there and go up there. So now we're just going to have the mid-range there. I'm going to apply that, click OK. And you can see the waveform has changed considerably. So let's go ahead and take a listen to that. Quite a difference there. Now, if we didn't like that, we can simply click Undo. So I could click here, and I just go up to Edit here to show Undo Equalization or Control Z, and now you see the waveform is back to its original format. Now, another thing we can look at here too is the pop. I don't know if you've heard it or not, but there's a pop right there. So let me highlight around here, and let's zoom in. Now you can see we're looking at tenths of a second here. So we can really specify just those two little pops. So let's go right through here. And those are the two pops. You see by hitting the line there, it's distorting. So there's a number of ways to clean this up, but since we're talking about equalization here, I'm going to do it through equalization. So we're highlighting just this portion here. So let's start by analyzing where this pop is happening. So I'll go up to Analyze and select the plot spectrum. And the frequency analysis opens. So as you see, the pop is happening here on the very low end. Take your mouse and scroll over it. You can see the exact frequency down here. So I'll go back and forth. So we see right around here on the very low end of things, we're getting that pop. So what we can do is just take down that low end to eliminate that pop. So I'll close out of this, go up to Effect, go to Equalization, and now in our spectrum, I'm going to click around here where our pop was. 
I'm going to go maybe to about here. Choose one point there, another point there, and I'm just going to drop this right down like that. Let's click preview to see if it does the pop. I'm still hearing that pop, so I'm going to go a little bit higher. drop it down a little bit more up to about 300 and let's see what happens there it's still popping so I'm going to take this down a little bit more and you see how you can play with it just with the various equalization and I'm click preview again Still hearing it, so one more time. And you see, this is how you do equalization. You just go through and you play with it bit by bit to see what's working for you. Now I'm going to click Preview. And I think that did it, so I'm going to click OK. And now you see our wave is off the peaking line, right there and there. So let's take a listen. And there you can see it's removed. So again, there are other ways of removing those types of pops, but in equalization here, I just want to show you that way. And the last thing I'd like to show you is going up to Effect and the Repeat Equalization. So we can repeat this for any other sections that we want. So for instance, we go to the next pop. Let's zoom out. And let's say, for instance, this was our next pop right there. We can highlight that, a different section. Go up to Effect, Repeat Equalization, and there you see it's adjusted it, taking the peaks down a little bit. And again, the two things I remind you about is saving the project as. So as you try different equalizations, go ahead, save the project as, and give it a name for whatever it is that you're doing. So that way you can go back and listen to different ones and see which one you like. And again, try your whole workflow. So see what you're going to end up with. And again, do short samples for whatever it is that you're going to do, whether it's burning a CD or broadcast or whatever it may be. Make sure that equalization is working for you on a short little piece, and then go ahead and apply it to the whole piece. And that's how you do equalization.